Next, we're in Brunswick, a trendy inner city suburb of Melbourne. This house uses a timeless material in a very interesting way. We often talk of architecture responding to its environment. Well, this is a perfect urban example. Bessie meets the architect Billy Cavallaris for a tour of Hancock House. Billy, how are you going? Good to meet you, how are you? Very good to meet you in person. Now, I've seen so many of your designs around Melbourne, including one that we did recently in yes, Tourac, did, I yes. believe. Yep. And now it's great to see the master. Thank you very much. <laughs> so the, the people that have this gorgeous home, they actually have the pub next door, is that right? That's right. The whole block was actually theirs yep. and they own the pub. And what they did is they carved off the rear portion mm -hmm. and we built this house for them. Okay, so you've got quite a contrasting area. You've we, got a we pub do. at the rear and then you've got beautiful parkland that's not going anywhere and it's going to be a view there for quite a while. That's that's right, and I think that's part of the interesting part of the brief. Mm -hmm. uh, and having a pub on one side and have a beautiful park on the other side, it's quite interesting to try and insert something in between those two things. A terrace home, and especially this one being on a corner block, it's, you've got your street and then you've got your house. So how do you avoid things like um, feeling safe, for the client to feel safe, and, and obviously graffiti as well, which is a huge part of Melbourne culture? Well, that was one of the biggest challenges for the site because it is in a corner and it has a street. Yeah. So uh, one of the things we tried to do is we created this beautiful articulated brick wall facade on the, on the uh, laneway side. Yeah. And we turned the bricks at 90 degrees and we broke them in half. So you have this beautiful textured wall, which prevents people from actually touching it, but also more importantly, graffitiing it. Yeah, that is great because it's practical, but it's actually gorgeous as a piece of art. Really, I love the textures that you've used throughout this whole home. Talk me through it. So the front house is a, exactly like a Victorian terrace house. It has all the same attributes, but it's a, done in a, as we said before, a contemporary way. Yeah. We have the picket fence in a nice black uh, steel That's fence. That's so cool. That's really clever when you And we have this beautiful landscape garden which sort of draws you into the house. And we have a, a nice tension between materials. We have this beautiful organic timber which sort of flows in from the entry and into the house. And then it's sort of juxtaposition with the nice brickwork. See, this is why everything you do is quite different because you've got the approach, you've got the brief, um, a terrace house. That's right. But then your creative mind can make it you know, it doesn't have to be what the typical terrace house looks like. And I think the art of it is trying to make it blend in with the streetscape and complement each other through tension as well as juxtaposition. I love the textures you've used and I can't wait to see how you've made it marry up with what's inside. Sure, let's go in. Let's go. Ah, this is awesome. So it is a small place. It is, and we try to focus on the details. I love that you've brought the wood from the outside and you've really flooded it through the home and really brought it into this master as well. Yeah, it's been a key focal point for the design but because it also adds a bit of warmth to the property. It does, and with the bright white walls, it's a beautiful contrast. And that was part of the brief, actually, to make the house actually contemporary but have this really nice, inviting, warm space. That is so great. I love speaking to people like you because you give me great ideas. Not much of a room to work with and then you've created everything it needs. It's all about creating and I suppose crafting the space as opposed to just trying to apply finishes. Oh, I see what you mean, Billy. So actually, that's the street right there, but from the outside they can't see in. That's right, they can't see in, but we can see out. So it provides this nice surveillance into the street. unique. I love it. I love what you've done with the space here because it's got really high ceilings in points. It's a very unique roof. It's a real contrast to downstairs. We try to create three separate vaults for three separate programs. So you have ah. the dining room here, the kitchen in the middle and then the living room at the back, which all correspond to the exterior facade. And the peaks that are at the front. Correct, that yes. That is super clever. I really love this idea, but more so it, the function of it, it brings in so much light, so it, much space. It does, it brings in the light. It also invites in the landscaping from the park because we sit elevated. I can't imagine a roof at, and a, a home like this, which is quite small, but very, very filled with features would be an easy challenge. Yeah, again, it comes back to the idea of a traditional terrace house mm -hmm. and the idea of the craftsman when those houses were built. So this cedar timber ceiling uh, took a lot to actually achieve these beautiful, nice crisp lines mm. and how the vaults sort of come together. And I think it really gives you a really nice warm environment. This material is actually referenced throughout the house. We saw it in the bed head downstairs and the entry into the kitchen, into the materials into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And they're sort of accents that sort of create the space itself. It's a fantastic little kitchen. It's beautifully designed. What have you put on your cabinets there? This is a crown cut timber veneer, which mm -hmm. sort of exposes the grain and the timber itself. And we have a nice marble top. 
How's that? What a gorgeous view, looking back on all the art that you've created. Yeah, you really get to experience the whole piece of architecture this way. It is so cool. I think that you just love this, huh? I do love it. I love experiencing it after it's all designed as well. How do the clients go with this one? Do they love it? I think they do love it, yeah. They enjoy it. Uh, I think it suits their lifestyle. They, we've got the little bedroom downstairs with the grandkids. They've got eight grandkids. It's amazing. Yeah, so they enjoy Great it. Great park for them. The park, the park across the road. <laughs> Really, I've thoroughly enjoyed having a peek around this place today. It is so unique and so great. Well done, job well done. Thanks for having me.